Many of you have been asking about my opinion on top donor management software. And so today I'm gonna to go over the top three, but I wanna make a disclaimer. And so my disclaimer is that the same with accounting software, you really have to consider your need. You really have to think about what it is that your organization is trying to accomplish. And what I mean by that is, um, not every organization needs donor management software, right? Like, do you manage multiple individual donors? You know, are you running individual fundraising campaigns? Like you have to think about what it is that your organization needs. And from there is when you start to kind of research and determine what software is going to be the best for you. So first off, when we think donor management, software or you know donor management crm whichever term you want to use you are essentially looking for a tool that's going to allow you to manage donor information maybe send your acknowledgement letters maybe allow you to run individual um campaigns but also a lot of organizations use them to come up with and execute donor retention strategies right and so again you know, this is also something to think about when you're considering what software you wanna go with. Now, before I get into my top three, one of the main questions I'm always getting is like, should the donor management tool integrate with QuickBooks? And this answer might surprise you, but uh, not necessarily because a lot of times you can then duplicate information, right? And so, you want to determine first what it is that you're trying to do with the donor management tool, because that will determine what information from there needs to actually be captured in QuickBooks Online. Also, not every donor management tool allows you to um, accept payment and things like that. So in some cases, that information doesn't need to be, um, you know, like integrated with QuickBooks. Um, but if you are using a tool where you're collecting money and you typically are transferring money from like the tool to like your bank account, then you want to think about the process because every month at the least, you should then be reconciling what's in your donor management tool with QuickBooks Online. And so I know it's annoying and I hate it, but it really depends. And so let's get into the first software. We're going to talk about Little Green Light. So with Little Green Light, the pricing is dependent on the number of donors. As a matter of fact, most of these softwares are, but the base price for Little Green Light is $45 a month, okay? They do allow for a free trial, which I know is very important to um, a lot of people when you're choosing to kind of like move over to a software. A lot of times you want to test it out to see if you want to be able to, you know, actually implement it in your organization, especially because implementation can be a whole beast in itself. So, you know, you want to know, like, can I test drive this? So we talked about that. We talked about pricing. The next piece is support. I like to talk about support because the thing with using uh, cloud-based tools and software, you know, support can vary and be limited. And so I think it's important that when you're using software, that when you have hiccups, questions, issues, that you are able to get those addressed and you're able to get them addressed timely, right? And so Little Green Light has support through um, a couple of different um, forms. And so they have a community, um, they have a library online, or you can actually contact the team. Contacting the team is a very important piece because what I've noticed with a lot of software is that they tend to like use a help desk and you're having to email and you're having to, you know, or use the chat or you can only, you know, use the online community. And sometimes you just need to talk to somebody, <laughs> you know, you just need to be able to say, hey, this is what's happening. Can you help me? Um, because unfortunately, a lot of times the online resources are outdated, right? And sometimes you need immediate help. And so to me, that's a huge pro for Little Green Light. So some more on Little Green Light is that it does have an easy interface. Um, I find that it is user friendly. I've heard from other executive directors that they too believe that it is very user friendly. It allows you to send acknowledgements, which is super important, especially after you've um, had donors, you know, give to you, you wanna be able to say thank you, right? You wanna be able to do that in a uh, systemized way, you know, and so that's really key. Um, it does have the ability to uh, provide customized reporting and for you to track fundraising efforts. And what I will say is that it does integrate with QuickBooks, so that is a plus if that is something that you need. Um, but again, remember, think about what it is that you're trying to accomplish. Um, it is more so, I believe, for smaller organizations, those that don't have a very robust or um, complex fundraising strategy. So you also want to consider that before you choose to go this route. 
The second tool that we're going to talk about is Kindful. And I'm gonna uh, take a break and pause right here. I'm on the accounting side, right? So some of the things that I may deem useful, easy, can be relative, right? Because I am one tech savvy, but also what I need is going to be a bit different than what you need. So these recommendations or this, this, this review is not only based off of my experience, it's also based off of feedback quite a bit that I have either received, read, researched online, spoken to executive directors. So it's not just my, it's not from solely just my opinion. So I want, I do want to put that out there because like I mentioned with Little Green, like, you know, I've heard a number, I've been told from a number of executive directors how easy it is to use and how much they enjoy it. But I also know those same executive directors are running smaller organizations, right? And so naturally you draw the conclusion, right? So break over, let's get back to Kindful. So Kindful is the second software we're gonna talk about. Its base price is $119 a month, so it's a little bit more expensive and there is no free trial. And so that was a little disappointing because again, sometimes you wanna just test out the waters. You don't wanna have to fully commit. You wanna date it a little bit before you get married, right? I'd like to see from Kindful more real-time support for for a company or a tool that, you know, is cloud-based, you know, it already is something that's operating in this digital space. And so it has support through like on-demand webinars. They have um, video tutorials. They have a blog. But again, a lot of this requires you to kind of do your own digging and researching and hoping that there's an article or some type of support out there for the issue that you're having versus being able to kind of contact directly. And so didn't love that. So now some features about Kindful. If you are an organization that is running campaigns consistently, sometimes running multiple campaigns like at the same time, or you might be doing like A-B testing, Kindful is um, could, could be a really big or really good um, solution because you get unlimited donation and like crowdfunding pages. And so it is good if you have kind of like a complex or very consistent giving campaign situation going on. It also has company gift matching, right? So that way, you know, companies can have their employees give to the organization of their choice, and that can be managed through Kindful. They have mobile giving. This is something that's really key because people do a lot of things from their phone, and some of the solutions that are available now in the donor management realm don't have this mobile giving piece. It's on, they have online giving, but not mobile. And nowadays, you see everybody is doing everything from their phone, so something to consider. Overall, I will say Kindful seems a bit more tech savvy. And that is also possibly, you know, honorable mention, they were purchased by Bloomberg, who is a bigger software, right? A bigger player in the space. And so naturally Kindful kind of has more, more resources. And so they do have, a, they are a bit more digitally savvy as it relates to the things that you can do with their platform and with the, um, the giving solutions. And so up to you, but, not bad, but again, you might want to think about um, what you need and also what your budget is. The last one we're going to talk about is called Network for Good. Their base price is $100 a month and they do offer a free trial. So you can test drive the car before you choose to buy. The support resources are, go, they go kind of hand in hand with Kindful. Um, I'd like to see more live, you know, support, but they have a podcast. Um, I'll admit I did check and the podcast doesn't seem to be updated regularly. I know personally I'm a podcast listener and I like new episodes every week and they don't have that. <laughs> um, they have webinars and events, they have a blog, but again, that is to me um, kind of outdated given, you know, 2023, I'd like to see some kind of live chat feature or the ability to contact the team um, directly. And um, I didn't, I didn't see that. Um, and so you might want to think about that. One of the main features that they do have that I love is as it relates to donor communications, you don't only have to send like acknowledgements or communication via like text, email, or like written communication. They also have the ability for you to send video communications, which is another way for you to, in this digital world, tap into the person who is giving, right? Like being able to send personalized video where they can see your face, where they can hear what you have to say. Um, 
really nice touch. And so something, something to think about. They have targeted, you know, mailing lists, which really leans into these, if you're an organization that is heavily marketing, right? You have a marketing person, a marketing department, and you guys really hone in on trying to um, do marketing campaigns where you're um, garnering donors, right? Something to absolutely consider. Um, I'd say the functionality is a little bit limited. It gave me the, 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 the database itself gave me a little bit outdated. Um, but for some, when it's outdated, it's easy to, ma um, navigate. And so, um, it's a plus that it has a free trial. So you can actually check out, um, the database and the functionality to see if it's something that comes easy to use, you know, for yourself. It might work for you. The main dislike or con that I hear, um, from executive directors is that they'd like more customized reporting, the ability to beef up or have more robust reporting. And so you have to think about where data management and the type of data that you you use and like to come um, gather on, on your team, um, the type, how much, how complex, um, because if that is important to you, right, then naturally this might not be a tool for you. So you want to think about that. Now, again, this was only three donor management tools. There are a ton, right? And so you have to think about size naturally, but you also really want to think about your funding sources um, and what it is that you're trying to convey and do as it relates to donors. That will help you to determine at least an initial draft of the software that you want to look into, that you want to try, that you maybe want to ask about, get referred, um, you know, get referrals from other executive directors, but you'll have a starting point versus trying to just draw straws from anywhere you end up getting a software that you either don't need or won't use, right? And so again, hope this was helpful. If you have any more questions, let me know. Again, I love it when you guys give me suggestions. And so if you'd like to make some suggestions on other videos you'd like to see, please do so. And I will add them to our queue. I'll see you guys in the next video.